so much for joining me. I'm Frederica Whitfield. All right, new this morning, immigration officials arrest hundreds of undocumented immigrants after a series of raids across the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE, agents targeting homes and businesses in a half a dozen states this week alone, taking approximately 160 people into custody. Officials say 75% of those arrested had felony convictions. The others had misdemeanors or were in the country illegally. More than three dozen of them already deported to Mexico. The raid sparking protests in Los Angeles and prompting Spanish language media to run PSAs promoting Know Your Rights seminars in the city. Homeland Security officials call these raids, quote, routine enforcement actions and are no different than their operations on a daily basis. Well, first of all, they're not rounding anyone up. Um, the people that ICE uh, uh, apprehend are people who are um, illegal and then some. ICE is, is executing the law, and I would tell you, um, I've been around a lot of pretty darn good men and women in the, in the armed forces, and what I saw today, the professionalism that I personally observed in a very potentially dangerous uh, uh, environment uh, gave, me great, uh, gave me great pride. Officials in several cities are voicing their support for the immigrant community. We have heard of several confirmed ICE actions in Austin. We are here to denounce those actions and to let the community know that we have their backs. Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti urging immigration officials to be more upfront and humane in their operations, saying, quote, Angelinos should not have to fear raids that are disruptive to their peace of mind and bring unnecessary anxiety to our homes, schools, and workplaces. The administration should take a just, humane, and sensible approach that does not cause pain for people who only want to live their lives and raise their families in the communities they call home and quote. Let's talk more about all of this with CNN international correspondent Shasta Darlington, who is live for us from Mexico City, criminal defense attorney and constitutional law attorney Paige Pate, and CNN political commentator uh, Jeffrey Lord. All right, so uh, good to see all of you. So Jeffrey, you first, you know, we've seen pictures of people being moved from their homes. Many immigrant communities are terrified. Uh, what can President Trump say to uh, Americans, particularly people who are, are afraid that their families will be torn apart? Well, I think what he has said is to, uh, I think he's basically going to concentrate, at least as I understand it, first on gangs or people that have problems. This uh, mother who was moved from uh, Arizona was, in fact, uh, a convicted felon. I mean, not only was she here illegally. But that's a separate issue had... because she was not caught up in the raid. But as it pertains no, to the raids overnight. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, he is going to get tough on this. Uh, you can't just walk into a country, any country, and, and settle there and think that you're not going to have a problem. If the shoe were on the other foot, if this were reversed, as it was, in fact, by accident with Sergeant Tamarisi, a United States Marine, who, who took a wrong turn when he was trying to go to California and wound up at, at, in Mexico, they threw him in jail for six months. Uh, they're tough in Mexico. So the United States is only asking for equal treatment here, fairness. So, so, Paige, there are mixed messages because we heard on the campaign trail, even as president, he said, it, you know, it's, it's a matter of targeting those uh, who have committed crimes. But right. when there are people swept up, ICE officials, at least one agent saying 75 percent may uh, have felony convictions. Mm -hmm. But when there are other people swept up, the concern that we're hearing from the immigrant community is, what about those who don't have records who are swept up? Right. I think it's going to be a growing problem. ICE raids are not unusual and not unprecedented. This happened during the Obama administration. It's happened during administrations going back many, many years. What is different is how the government is treating undocumented people who do not have criminal convictions. As we heard from the president, heard from the administration, they're going to focus on those folks who are a danger to the community, violent felons. They're going to deport them first. So when you have a raid and you encounter those folks, sure, it's going to be policy and it's totally lawful to start deporting them. But if an undocumented person does not have a criminal conviction, those folks have been treated differently in the past, and I think that's the tension we're going to start seeing now. Can you have it both ways? 
Well, you can if that's your policy. The agents on the ground are just doing what they're told to do. So if the policy of ICE is going to be, we're going to first start with people with criminal convictions. We're going to deport them. The other folks that may be caught up in this raid, we're going to allow them to report. We're going to let their case go through the process, go in front of an immigration judge, take time, make sure that they're not balancing factors that we need to consider, families, dependents, things of that nature, before we put them on a bus and send them to Mexico. So Shasta from Mexico City, how is this being received there? Yeah, I think that's exactly right. It, it is entirely common in, in previous administrations to deport undocumented migrants. We get about three plane loads uh, flying into Mexico City every week. The difference, of course, is the, the, this fear and this anger here in Mexico City uh, that somehow the immigration uh, standards are, are being shifted. Uh, we have this case, so you can see this is a newspaper from this week. It says it, Trump deports Guadalupe breaks up family. And that is, of course, referring to the Arizona a woman, Guadalupe Garcia de Rayos, uh, whose crime was having a fake uh, social security number. She hadn't committed any other crime. And in the past, she had been allowed to visit her immigration officer once a week uh, on a regular basis. And she was actually uh, taken in and deported when she was visiting her immigration officer. So that anger is, is really growing here. We've seen the Mexican government go on the offensive. They are, have issued a warning two Mexicans living in the United States, uh, telling them to keep in contact with their consulates. They are calling uh, their Trump administration. They're saying they're imposing severe um, uh, controls on immigration, unusual. They're even worried that the constitutional rights of, of uh, Mexicans living in the United States could be violated. So they say they're beefing up their staffs. And uh, some cities are even offering to pay the, the legal counsel. We saw the president of Mexico, Enrique Peña Nieto, go to the airport this week to wait for one of those planes coming in, 135 Mexican migrants just deported, to tell them, you're not alone, we're going to help you if they won't there. Of course, that's little consolation to the to so many Mexicans who are being uh, ripped away from their families and coming back to a country they haven't seen for years, often decades. And, and so, Jeffrey, what does this do to the relationship between uh, Trump and the Mexican president when Donald Trump says there's going to be this level of cooperation, Mexico's going to pay for the wall? How might this impact that negotiation upcoming? I, I think, Fred, that what you're seeing here is the beginning stages of a much larger negotiation here. I, I mean, all of this, the wall, the deportations, et cetera, but resetting United States-Mexico policy and uh, working with Mexico to do so. And Donald Trump being Donald Trump, I think that this is only the opening round in a negotiation. And, and so, Paige, is part of the problem that ICE agents have some discretion here on who to round up? While the intent may have been one thing to go after those with criminal records, if people who do not have criminal records are swept up, does this underscore you know, the problem with discretion? Well, the discretion is at the agency level. I mean, the people who are actually out there conducting the raids, they're just doing what they're told. So I'm certain that the policy now is, if you find somebody who's undocumented, go ahead and deport them. And that is very different than what we've seen in prior administrations. And I find it not just coincidental that this raid happened. It may have been planned before, but it was initiated just as soon as Jeff Sessions took office as attorney general. So what I think we're seeing is an entirely new policy from the top. And Shasta, are you hearing from people? What is the experience uh, that those who have been swept up are describing? There, there, again, there's a lot of a lot of fear. Some people uh, don't even want to go home to the the cities or the towns they're originally far, from because they haven't been there for years. So they're staying close to the border in the hopes that they continue can continue to have contact with their families on the other side. I, it, it literally is. You know, it's so hard to meet a Mexican who doesn't have a family me member living on the other side. So uh, this is stepping, they're stepping up pressure on the government here to do something about this. Make sure that people are being taken care of. Make sure that their constitutional rights aren't being violated. Um, but there's just a lot of uncertainty. This is, the, the people here are very angry. In fact, we're going to see a large demonstration tomorrow, a massive demonstration across the country. They're expecting tens of thousands of people to take to the streets against the Trump administration. So, again, anger and fear everywhere we look, Frederica. All right, Shasta. And Fred? Yeah, go ahead, Jeffrey. Just one thing. None of this would be happening if people in Mexico or anywhere else 
simply applied legally to come into the country and follow the rules. This wouldn't be happening. All right, Jeffrey Lord, uh, Page Page, Shasta Darlington, thanks to all of you. Appreciate it. All right, thanks. still ahead, tempers flaring at some